this year. Oh boy, what are we not doing? We're not. We're not going to. We are not doing. We're not we, we not, not doing, doing the garage cleaning shows. deal. We're going to not not do the garage clean deal, and 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 we're also not going to clean the best we can clean. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that garage <laughs> deal is dead. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, uh huh. And we go out to clean. <laughs> we don't try to do a good That's job. It. That's it. No, no. How you doing, Ron? I'm good, man. You're back from Florida. I'm back from Atlanta. Um, Atlanta was the was killer, by the way. Did you did I got a feedback, John? You got a phone going there or another or, or is your laptop got the thing on or something? You got your phone on? Wait, maybe it was me. Hold on, John. It was my no me. You perfectly. Maybe it was me. It was me. It was me. Never mind. It was it me. I was doing knew. it myself. I was a dummy. I was doing it myself. Yeah. So, there it is. I can watch it right there. There. Yeah, Boom. I got that too. But I got the sound. Yeah. Only you got to put that sound down, right? Yeah, totally down. What's, what's cool is is you can it records that right over the top of it. Guys, if you guys got any questions tonight, man, John and I are always here to answer the questions. Let us know, right, John? We'll answer it, right? I mean, what what yeah. what, what, what can hurt? As long as it's not something like about not using the right chemical because it might clean too good and you don't want to clean too good, we don't <laughs> we don't want to talk about that. Hey, hey wait. Wait, wait, I'll say this. It's this a plug for Craig Harrison. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. If you do not want to clean too good, do not use groundskeeper, okay? If yeah. you only want to be a mediocre cleaner, only use some other stuff. Do not use groundskeeper. Anyway. That's funny you brought that up because if you're going to use the F9 groundskeeper, make sure you, you do all the concrete because it comes out really clean. <laughs> Now, uh, when you got a million square feet of concrete to clean, like we yeah. run into, be careful. <laughs> That's, That's funny. What I'm say. That's funny. That's the truth. Yeah, you don't want to get those. You don't want to make that look. You don't want that. You don't want to show them that they can really be good looking and clean because we don't want to do that. Hey, John, I got a question for you today. While these guys, okay. it, it might be a little bit controversial. Um. You know, there's guys out there telling these guys different methods, and maybe and maybe you got different levels of cleaning, but I have different packages I'll give people. Like, like if my price is too much, we'll clean less area, but we never clean less. You know what I mean? Like we never lower our cleaning standard. Right. Our cleaning standard is always up here. We may lower the scope so that it's affordable for them. And I'll give you an example. In, in fast food, I created a package long ago, and I know you know this because you were on PWI, where these guys didn't believe this. I would only clean the doorway area, the menu board, and the window. In other words, we didn't clean the front door. We cleaned that menu board where the people ordered the drive through and we cleaned the window area. And that was just where the car pulled up, and that was just where the car pulled up, menu, and we cleaned the doorway. And, of course, that it was less money than doing the whole place, but it was not. We didn't do a lesser job we clean those areas i always say this you you know what i always say you can eat off of it um if if they you know if, if we do the job you can eat off of it period look at this john unbelievable hey i gotta bring somebody in john but what give me a rebuttal on that is that how you do it or Yo, do you have God. or do you have different levels of cleaning no no there's no we don't sell packages at different levels of clean it's like ron said maybe if they want to play with the price we'll do a little less you know, instead of the whole thing, we worked that out. No, your name's attached to everything you clean. I, I would not give the gold package and then the bronze package and the silver package or whatever the hell the order goes. No, when my guys go out, they do the best job every single time. And that's the way it are is. There, are there really guys out there doing that? I mean, really? Well, some guys got it right. Some guys got it wrong. Some guys do a gold, silver, and a bronze package and – there's more involved in each, but other guys look at it like they do less cleaning. They do a, a less of a job or, or, or not as good as a clean. You always do the best clean. Now, if they're asking for some kind of restoration in there, that can change it, but you never lower your levels of clean. So don't do a package that says, you know, on this one here, we're going to protect your, uh, you know, uh, your your windows. We're going to protect your uh, driveway or plants. We're not going to clean it. We're not going to clean it so. We're not going to clean it so good. 
<laughs> right, right. You don't, don't ever sell that package. You could do a, a, you know, a gold. We don't. I'm very. I'm, I'm a kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. So we clean. Oh look who it is. Oh look, I got my hat on. Got my hat. There's our paint. Our paint expert. Ah, uh, she's an expert. Our expert. She's an expert of hard she knocks. She learned the hard way. I did learn the hard way. Yeah, she is the did. industry renowned expert in the industry. She tested sixteen different methods, two or three different substrates. Craziness in Atlanta. Crazy. Scary. It is scary. I'm going to do more. I'm going to find more products and test them until I find one that works. <clears throat> there we go. Have you ever ran across Trudy where you changed, like, drive it? Have you ever changed the color on those? No, right? Like synthetic stucco. That's what drive it is. We um, clean a lot of that. Yeah, I mean it's the paint. It's not the it's not the structure. It's not the surface. Just the paints. Just the pigment in the paint. That is scary uh, stuff. He messaged me the other day that he changed vinyl. He said, "Is this it?" It was like a light colored home, and it looked like neon green. And I said, uh, yeah, that's here. I'll send you pictures. I got pictures of another house. It's, it looks like the slime from Ghostbusters like ran through the wall. And that's how uh -huh. green stain. But, but that was vinyl? That was a vinyl house? He painted the vinyl. Oh, it was painted vinyl. Okay. Okay. You see what Jim Van Handel is saying there, Ron? There, there is a basic deluxe and premium. But he's but on his basic, I'm going to guess, I know Jim a long time, he's not going to do a schlop job. It's just the deluxe adds more to it, and the premium might be even more. But it doesn't mean he's going to clean something and do it half-assed. My guess. I don't think so. No, be like nobody is. want to do the parking garage, but they didn't want to do... Um, you Stairwells. Know. They didn't want to do the stairs. They didn't want to do the... You know, yeah. they didn't want the gum removal. But still, sure. when you clean an area, you're going to give it a good job. It's like I've done I've done parking lots and they're like okay I don't I don't or driveways I don't want the curbs done, you know how right. much would that? I was like what well, it would look like crap but they still want it so I'm like okay. Hey, yeah, you know they tell, do it right. I tell people you know we have a minimum charge right. Yeah. It was two fifty last year. This year is two seventy five. If it's if it's you know I try to give them like an hour's worth of work if I can in there. Not that we get that an hour, but if they want us to clean like the garage door, just you know my guys are in and out. And a lot of guys say, I would never leave my name on a house that only wants one side done. I give what my customers want. Right. They say, John, we just want the north-facing side done. 275. My guys will be there 10 minutes. That doesn't matter, but that's what the customer wanted. So I never leave no, I never leave money on a table. I'll, I'll tell them the whole house might be four and a quarter, but they're like, we just want the one side done. So that's what we do. Hey, John, you got the reader out. You got your reading glasses on. Yeah, I can read Flip, that. Just go ahead. All right. One is no, just my bean. No, I'm not kidding. That's so, <laughs> <laughs> that's so far from the truth. There is no easy way out, no shortcuts, and you definitely can't get rich quick. Yeah, that's true. If, if anybody came into this industry, because you see a lot of these YouTube stars now, they're making it sound like it's easy. Look, I've been doing this for my 26th year. There is no way to, to get it done like, uh, yeah, Jim, you're right. Jim won't do anything half fast. Yeah, that's really. I didn't want to. I didn't. I wanted to have more uh, PC than that, but that's really it. You know, half ass. You know, what's funny is John. You know, you know, uh, Nick, uh, Nick, Nick, Nick the, the cleaner, cleaner. Out. Yeah, yeah. He uh, and friends. He basically called this guy stupid, and the guy went off on him. And I was like, oh my god, that's the worst thing you could do to Nick. And somebody, somebody emails me, goes, hey, what's going on? I don't know. Best me. What has Nick got special privileges here? And I was like. Hey man, when you're 20 years in the business, you're Italian and you're from the Bronx, calling somebody stupid is like a that's a minor thing, man. <laughs> you know? Oh God, yeah. that's Dude, a minor. He's so thing. busy like deleting words out of there. If he really spoke his mind, he's a good guy. Nick's a good guy. Oh, would you imagine having him on the show? We would have to have a beep, beep, beep. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we sure would. In my back. He's in your backyard, but Trudy. No, no, I said it'd be like a semi backing up with the beeps. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, He's a yeah, good guy. Like, or they want just the eaves washed. I'm like, you know, you have to wash the whole house. I'm going to have to wash the whole house anyway. So you have to explain. You just don't wash the eaves because that, you know, your cleaning solution is going to run down the house. 
and they're going to have clean streets. You yeah. know what, though? But what if they want, like, one side of the house done? What do you do? You don't do it? Oh, yeah, we've done that. But yeah, I'm we, not gonna... we get those. We get those kind of jobs. Or, or the roof. They want the north-facing roof done? It's just, it's tricky for my guys to do that because you don't want to shoot the bleach over onto the other part of the roof. But we'll right. do it. We give the yeah. customer what they want. But Jim Van Halen saying there is, yeah, he gives the customer choices. Yeah, that's that's how those things are supposed to work, the gold, the silver, and bronze packages. You're not going to short them on the cleaning. It's just that there's more involved when you go in a higher package. Some guys try to say you do, you do a crap job when you do the bronze. I'm only using those things to make a point. They don't do it. You shouldn't have a sell a crap job you're just gonna when you sell and you upsell you're selling more that's all it is okay so a bronze job would be the parking garage silver would be the parking garage and the curbs gold would be the parking garage curbs and the walls yeah that's yes. exactly what it is yeah right so if you're just cleaning the uh the curbs or something you're not going to do a half-ass job in the curb right. the curbs are going to be amazing the rest of it's going to look bad but the, yeah well know. that's the problem <laughs> yeah, yeah that is so the problem how it is but that's all that's in their budget. That's what's in their budget. Yeah, that's right. It's all about the budget, especially in commercial work. Oh, well, even in residential, people want to spend X amount of dollars, you know. And to me, everything's negotiable. If they want to spend less, then we'll do a little less. That's how we do. We say, look, you only want to spend nine hundred bucks instead of fourteen hundred. Well, maybe we want to do a pool patio. That's how we do it. Yeah, my prices are always negotiable, but mm -hmm. somewhere we're gonna, they're gonna they're gonna lose something on this. But it's not the quality of the clean. Price is negotiable, but not the quality. Right, not, never never do the quality because if you do that kind of stuff, you know they tell their friends and there goes all your referrals. Right. So I love contracting too. I put that post up the other day. That that I know, truly I knew you were gonna respond to that because you do both, mm -hmm. but a lot of contract is not a lot but some became vendors and they became full-time vendors and i'm like i don't find nothing wrong with that kind of stuff but i've always been an outdoor kind of person and like my guys telling ron my like a lot of guys like to show the jobs are out my guys are doing 105 homes i never went there to start a monday they already knocked down like 48 homes in three days which is good i don't got two guys there because i have another two doing something else but i never even go to these jobs i only go if, if they need me as a matter of fact, the warehouse next to mine, that company is very active. They, they, The guy told me when he saw me show up at my warehouse at 3.30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, he's like, John, I was talking to you guys, and we don't like your hours. He's only breaking my balls. My guys have been with me so long, they only call me if there's a problem. <laughs> I don't want them to call me tell me how great they did. Don't call me for nothing unless there's a problem. And my guys are great. I trained them, and I went to a lot of conventions over the years, including stuff Ron's done. I learned from people that, you know, trial, they're trial and error. So, yeah. I, uh, I, Ron I can't... sleeps in park garages. <laughs> <laughs> Ron's a glorified bum. <laughs> no, I did comment on your post and I said that I'm, you know, I'm in the warehouse more, but for just sanity reasons, I'm going out to clean. I'm doing uh, Air Force Base Friday, mm. do the youth center and the sports complex. So, that Shane can sit his butt in the warehouse. And I just pretended it because I love being outside. Government it. work. Trudy's the government. She went from paint expert to government expert. I've done <laughs> field for five years now. The Children's Center, the Youth Center, and the Sports Complex pretty much every year. You like being outside, don't you, Trudy? I do love it, and I love cement work. Shane doesn't like cement work. I'm I love cement work. <laughs> Yeah. Wait till you see we're doing a garage in two weeks, April 10th. Mm -hmm. It's already scheduled. And in the garage, it's only 50,000 square foot garage, but that's the first time we're going to use the um, that surf machine I bought out in Atlanta that's self-propelled. And I, I'm dying. To, you know, I never used it. But, you know, I just, I just, you know, my crew, I just, I, a friend of mine has got a big business. says, John, never go back. Because once you start doing that, you want to keep doing it. But I miss it. But I, I'm, I'm going to do some video in there showing the guys on this thing. They don't need this for a 50,000 square foot garage, but I may jump on it. I'll probably fall down and break my arm. I'm reading the yeah, new parking. I'm reading the new parking garage section in the pressure washing <laughs> 101 guidebook, along with painting expert Trudy. What? 
They what? put the paint. They put the painting expert in here now. Did they? Is her yeah. name in there? I haven't got the new book yet. He's got to get some royalties. I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, has anybody got any questions about paint? Ask us if you got any questions. We're ready to tell you about it. We've only got, we're staying to a stringent schedule. We got 22 minutes left. 23 well, minutes left. Show up. 23 <laughs> minutes left. Oh, yeah. man, I forgot the time change. We haven't done one of yeah. these since the time change. I forgot. I was sitting there just jabbering away, and he, John calls me 15 after. I was just telling the wife, I was like, we don't have to go on for about 45 minutes. She was wanting me to do something, and Ro John rings the phone, saved my life. I didn't have to do it. So <laughs> I'm always bailing Ron out. People don't realize that. <laughs> John, you breathe life into me. What are you talking about? Aries? Oh, yeah. I made Ron relevant again. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah. Ron's always been relevant. I love when people tell me that because me and Ron, you know, this garage deal is not that, it's not that people. I got a two year window on this thing. And Ron, you know, it's a long story. Make that story short. Me and Ron decided through them because they want us to work together uh, if we make this deal, right? It's a tremendous deal. So we, so we, so, you know, I don't, I never had a problem with Ron in that sense. But me and Ron decided to go a step further and maybe. Do stuff. Ron loves doing events, and I like going to events. So, but I got people telling me, John, there's like 30 or 40 people in our industry. Now, let's look at this for in a different perspective. In our country, in America alone, there's probably 950,000 people who do what we do. There's 34 people on the uh, Facebook groups that are harassing me, saying, "John, you gave life back to Ron." I said, "Listen, you're only 34 guys. The rest of the world, that's not a problem." Ron's never gone nowhere. He's got 5,000 friends, 3,000 followers. You know, don't give me that credit because he's not, you know, I never gave him life back. He's been here all along. So, so, so it's a lot of laughs. It's funny, John. Trudy, what do you, what did you think of the show, man? I mean, what did you think of Atlanta? Tell John, tell John what you thought of Atlanta. Cause I mean, it was, I, I, I was actually, I thought it was absolutely insane, man. It was crazy. But it was. I was in a whirlwind the whole two days. It was just go, go, go. There's a lot of questions, a lot of new guys. Um, a lot of information got put out there by all the instructors. It was a great time, a lot of uh, great networking, a lot of good people. It was, it was over my expectations. It was just exceeded them. Yeah, I said that there was only going to be like 60 or 70 people. I kind of fooled you. <laughs> well, don't get Ron. Ron said there's gonna be six people at the Washmont University. But... <laughs> I said I corrected that, John. I said, said 14. 14. 14. <laughs> 14. Time you to know, buy uh 14. I'm gonna right try now. this reverse psychology now because it's working better, you know. We'll just keep saying, eh, there's a couple of people coming, you know. <laughs> So, hey, I got some good news, right? So, for we got a six million dollar man coming to Phoenix, right? Connor Eubanks, right? Yeah, yeah. I've got Pat Clark, he's coming. He's he decided he's going to go ahead and come to uh, uh, Houston. So, Pat Clark, Pat Clark's going to come to Houston and he's doing a uh, he's going to do a measuring proposal. And he's going to walk everybody through it. So we're going to actually measure the hotel next door, write up the proposal in classroom. He's going to do that physically and then write up the proposal in classroom. It's going to be a pretty good experience. A lot of good stuff for when is guys that, that, don't, that don't know how to write, you know, those type of proposals. Um, that one is on the um, – no, I got to keep these things straight. The yeah. 9th and the 10th of February. Okay. Um. Craig oh, Harrison's wait, 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 hold up. Craig sorry. Harrison's November 4th and 5th, yeah, and maybe 6th, but 4th and 5th are locked up. If we go 6th, we're going to be doing a gas station training. Okay. But but I'm crazy. Trudy, since we left Atlanta, I'm thinking about doing a free gas station training. John's like, what are you doing? Quit giving the gas station training away. But you know what? I'm I'm crazy. I'm thinking about just doing like six free gas station trainings all over the country, and we'll just do them for free and see who shows up. Right. And I'll uh, get your get my date soon. I'm working on it. You know what though? I always look at like niche or niche stuff that 
See, Ron doesn't mind doing everything. For John, free. can I tell you the truth about gas stations? Go ahead. They suck. Oh, well, you know, I don't do them. <laughs> they suck. I love garages, but gas stations. Look, the guy here bought those three. I mean, we're going to make a lot of people angry. Angry, and that's why I'm here tonight. Because that's why I just make I just well, piss you know, off wait, people. Listen, listen, listen. But they suck. I'm not going to tell anybody any lies. They Ron, suck. Tell everybody you think residential sucks too. Ron never does residential. Everyone's got no. I thing. love doing residential. I do a bunch of residential. I just do it all for free. Exactly. See, Ron's willing to do that for free, but you know. <laughs> but Ron, your company never really from did November from November all the way through December. I would do hundreds of homes for all of my relatives, friends, and important customers completely for free. That's a strategy that I normally don't tell people. I built a giant, enormous book from that. Can you imagine? That's your business model. I ain't doing. Well, Trudy's here. I'm going to say it anyway. I ain't doing shit for free. <laughs> These are your friends and family. Oh, they're listen, going, my, to, listen, they're going to get you business. My family don't get nothing free either. All that my family does, <laughs> my relatives. No, 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 no. Listen, I have employees making $40, $50 an hour. They pay the labor. I'm not paying for the stuff to get We trained. We parents. trained. We trained. We trained the the. You know, obviously January in a commercial world is a is a commercial contractor's busiest month, right? If if January is not your busiest month and you're selling maintenance agreements, something's wrong. Okay. I mean, because that's that's your growth. You know, you sign the, the agreements for the next year annual budget and you start them usually January one. Okay, that's that's how that works. Sometimes they start February, sometimes they start March. But for the bulk of it, it's January. So you're the busiest in January. So you got to train these people up. So you got to start on that in November and work it through November and December. And, you know, I would rather screw somebody. I would rather screw my mother's or my sister's driveway up or mm -hmm. her house mm -hmm. than a customer's than a customer's property. You ought to be my family. You know what's going to happen to you? You're going to be thrown off a bridge in cement shoes. Oh, tr no trust way me, man. They're out shit. there watching them because they know they're the new guys. They're out there watching them for me. They're like, well, we used to pressure wash with Ron back when he started. <laughs> wow. You, you never met my family, have you? No. <laughs> No. How do you do it, Trudy? Do you do you ever give anything away, Trudy? Ever? Always. No, for one. Yeah, I just uh I mean I just sold a four gallon, four thousand a minute machine to a guy that I thought he knew um how to do it, uh, but he didn't. So he learned <clears throat> he learned everything on YouTube, watching YouTube videos. So he comes in the store, he ordered this machine, got it in. He's like, well, I need a proportioner. I need an X jet. I need this. I need this. I'm like, whoa, you don't even know how to use this machine. So I had to show him how to downstream. I had to show him how to surface clean. I had to show him the importance of a ball valve. I had to show. So you him sold him a ball valve, a surface cleaner, and a downstreamer for another five or six hundred bucks. Right, and I spent over three hours teaching him how to use it. See, that's key. You gave him. I bet your customer service is excellent. That's such a big thing with these. There's some vendors I won't mention names. The customer service sucks. Oh come on, John! Just no, mention no, their no, names. no. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna make tell me their name. I'll mention. Go ahead, John. Tell me who it is. Who is it? There's that freaking company in China. I don't want to talk about them. <laughs> oh. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it's the Chinese. <laughs> that freaking Chinese virus. Oh, no, I'm sorry, but you know. Um, but Trudy gave the guy three, four hours of education that you had to learn yourself going to a conventions, hard knocks. You know, that's valuable. That's a valuable thing to come with the machine. A lot of companies don't do that, Trudy. I'm going to be honest with you. They'll sell you something, but they ain't giving you nothing as far as uh, how to operate it, how to do everything else. They want to Man, sell. Man, John, John, I need – I'm going to tell you right now. I don't – I wasn't prepared today, but I would have had a pan – you got to get a panhandle shirt from her. The, I got it. Hey, by far, those are the best shirts you've seen, aren't they, Trudy? They are. The pan handles, man, just came out. Poof, man. I mean, they're, they well, just the one she's wearing, I got that shirt, I think. No, yeah, I'm talking yeah. about the new ones. They're, they're the ones, oh, the, I the like pressure those washing shirts. institute, I like the, the, the pressure washing institute shirts that she got, mm -hmm. those things, the color on those things, man, pow. I mean, they just it popped. popped. The it was crazy. Popped. They did. Yeah, and nice I'll, I'll send you guys some. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I could have sold him a whole bunch of stuff he didn't need. Right. But he was already confused on what to do to add an X chat and add a proportioner, which I don't use. 
there's no reason to to sell something that he doesn't need. He's right. going to mess it up. Look at that, a testimonial. Let me Mark Will, Mark Let me Will Miller, to that. man. Let me respond to me that. doing my cousin's garage for re got me five other jobs. Ryan, let me just tell you, I'm going to respond to uh, Mark Kell Miller. My wife's got 35 first cousins. All right. If I do one of them for free, <laughs> this 30, she got 35. Of the them. other ones want it for free. <laughs> well, there you go. But, you know, I respect what he did here because his cousin is probably somebody who's got a lot of friends. I understand that. Uh, but I always give my family, I always tell my family, I, I send my guys there. I say, you know what? Just look, they'll get the whole house washed and all the walkways done. My guys be out of there in two hours. Wow. Gonna you're going to you're gonna freak, you're gonna freak out, John. They also got a pie from Baker Square, whatever well, one they wanted. Yeah. They're, they're, they get, their you know. own, their own. I'm not kidding you. We did this. They got a Christmas card. They got a pie. The guy would leave it there. I mean, they would do all the place up for them. They loved it. When I stopped doing it, man, they couldn't believe it. They were, and guess what happened when I stopped doing it? They wanted to pay because <laughs> yeah, yeah. they were used to having their places done for the last 20 years. Oh, look, look at, at that. that dog. That's crazy. Oh, I miss my dogs. Where's your dog, man? Mine? Yeah. Where's your dog at, John? Oh, they both went, to, they were brother and sister <laughs> twins. They went, they're in heaven now. I had dogs all my life. Let's see if I can get them in here. That's a cute. I see. I see, I see uh, Trudy's dog. She shows. Uh, you got a nice property in Florida. I That's a shop there, dog, days. man. That is a yeah, shop dog. Yeah, dog runs around. It's kicking the ball around or something. <laughs> yeah, big shop dog. Yeah. Yep. Well, John, we had a good. We had a good audience. Trudy's almost. I, we got only like five minutes left. Trudy, you might as well stick around, and you could say you did the whole show. <laughs> Hey, Ryan, you know what oh, I want to say? Here, Wolf. Other one. Come here, Wolfie. Oh. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here. Ron's dog. Okay, Come here. We're going to make we're gonna make you an internet star. I Ron's dog is one of these. Woof, 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 woof. No. He's a little e bitty guy, man. I mean, he's not he's not very big at all. He's just oh, little. Look at that. He's just little. Aww. And he's and he's shy. He don't want to look in the camera. Oh, he's so <laughs> not like his father. <laughs> <laughs> he's little. Hey, Ron, I'm going to say a couple of things, and Trudy, you can close it out with Ron. Me okay. and Ron are still working on Atlantic City. That's going to be huge. Or, no, let me check that word out. Ginormous. That's in the works. I am. I only committed to one garage class this year, and I did it for two reasons. I wasn't sure if I, you know, I love Phoenix, but I'm like, you know, I, I like contracting. But Connor Eubanks has got a nice big company, really big company. That. He said he'll go to Phoenix if I go there. And my, then my wife in the other room, she's watching the show. She said she wants to see our nephew again with, his, with the newborn. And Ron's like, John, come to Phoenix. I said, Ron says, Kathy says, Connor says, I'm going. That's the only garage class I plan on doing all year. Um, but I may go to the PWA event. Uh, and maybe Ron's got another event. I'm going to be at the, I'll probably be at the Washmart event. And uh, is Trudy, Trudy coming doing? to Phoenix? Yeah. Oh, then well, you're speaking. Trudy's yeah. coming to Phoenix then. Yeah, too. I gotta catch her paint class. And she's Trudy, not gonna do, do a paint. She's not doing a paint class in Phoenix, though. I got a special thing she's gonna do. She's gonna do something else in Phoenix. She's gonna do something. Well, I'll, I gotta let her know what it is, though. Listen to Ron. <laughs> <laughs> I say we do an event at Trudy's place, Ron. <laughs> Trudy, when do you want to do an event at your place? You got a nice What's the house. date, Trudy? Give uh, us the date. <laughs> Working on a venue. My my is a town of twenty. I don't care. People. Give us the no date. Hotels. We'll get. We're gonna write down the date right now. Wait, What's, the date? The What's the month. date? What's the date, Trudy? We're gonna hold you to it. What's the date? What is it? Uh oh. It's in January. January what? It's in Ooh. January. No, give us Actually, the date. Yeah. Give us the date. Just give us the date. We we we'll just what write it the, down. Don't do it. What if the venue is not available? It's okay. Write it down. We'll get it available. What's the date? January. Uh, Don't put, uh -oh. January. Put me on the spot. What about the the thirteenth and fourteenth? About that. Thirteenth and fourteenth. What a great day! What I'll a great there. day! I'll, I'll there it is. Florida, then. And you're going thirteenth and fourteenth. There it is. Done. Okay. Is that a Friday the thirteenth? I don't know. You better rethink that. <laughs> oh well, dang. <laughs> there it is, January. Uh, you know done. what I got? You know what I got? In my brain. It's in January. That's good enough. <laughs> Are you really going to make it, John? I'll be in Florida then. 
man. So you're not going to miss any of our events next year. You're coming to Marcos. You're coming to Craig's. You're coming to Trudy's. I'll go to Trudy's. At, I, I, you know, you know what, Ron? I'm a big supporter of females. <laughs> and you know, my daughters and uh, you know, I've always my sisters. And I think Trudy really is is a, you know, she's the star in an industry full of males. I'm going to be honest with you, Trudy. And I'm a big supporter of that. And wait till you guys see. Ron knows, but Ron Ron's under contract not to release it. If we close this Atlantic City deal, I'm going to tell you the keynote speaker is a female. Nice. Really unbelievable. Unbelievable. And she's like, John, you want me to do it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I, 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 I will make Trudy's event. I guarantee, I promise you I'll be there if it's in January. If she says it's going to be in April, ain't happening. No. Too it hot. Here, not during spring break. No. Nope. Look at this. Chris is ready for a gas station training in, in Houston. And he's going to do the gas station training with me for free. How do you like that? Wow. And there's and there's Mark. Mark's coming to Houston. Oh. Mark, Mark wants to come to Houston. It's funny. These guys all want to come, man. Hey, now Mark. We're, we're packing them in. They want to come. Listen, I never did get back to Mark. Mark, Mark, let me just say something because he knows what I'm talking about. He called me, or I called him. I ran into a problem. My guys did something with some pavers, and the uh, that that bonding stuff, the mortar. I forget what it's called. Mark, you know what I'm talking about. That because Mark told me what to do. Uh, after that, Ron, the two the biggest college probably in New York. We got two buildings out of that. I made probably ninety thousand dollars over something he told me. So drinks are on me, Mark. Awesome. And I love the way he goes when Mark comes on, Mark. I love watching his videos. He comes on, woo, woo, internationally famous and continentally known. Or something. I love the way he starts his videos. I sold my book many times, James, three three different occasions, 96, 2004, and 2008, 9, okay? Contracts. Um, yeah, you got to have the contracts. But, You've got them. But, but, you know, this – this equation now with the service business has changed. You know, it's changed. And uh, I, I I, really don't even want to – I don't even want to take a stab at that. Maybe John does, but I don't want to take a stab at that without talking to a, a couple of business brokers I know of how they're doing it. Because you have to remember, man, I haven't done this. I haven't done that for 12 years. I, I acquired more companies than anybody would even believe. But, uh, you know, when I acquired the companies – um, if it wasn't a situation where I, I literally, and I'm just going to tell this to everybody, I almost stole them. You know what I mean? Any, every time I acquired a company, I mean, I, that, that's, that's what you're supposed to do. You know, um, uh, I've told the story about the biggest home run I ever had was a, and I'll just tell this advice to guys. When you get an employee that goes out on their own, don't praise them and help them foster what they're doing. They may decide that they don't want to be a business owner and everything that they sold and they have is going to come right back to you because you're going to be the first guy if you help them out. You're going to be the first person that they talk to when they're ready to hang it up. My biggest my biggest acquisition was a salesman that worked for me for about six years. He went out and built a book that was ginormous, but his wife came to me and basically said, Ron, I, I haven't seen Scott in three years. <laughs> you know, I'm leaving. <laughs> and, and he had to make a decision. What do you think his decision was? Sell me the business and take a salary and work these hours and yeah. spend time with his family. Well, me and Jim so, talked about that. That's the, sh that's the story short there. It's, it's a lot longer because it was a bigger home run for me because he was such, he was not a business person. He didn't even know what he was selling me. And I took it for granted. I took it, I took it accurately that he knew what he was doing. And let's just say, instead of having, instead of him selling me sixty thousand dollars worth of contract agreements, it was over a quarter of a million. Nice. That's how that's how far off he was. But he could never execute him because he didn't know how to do it. But you he's a right. selling, but he's a like, selling machine. Just to add to that, because me and Jim Van Halen correspond almost every day, almost every day. And uh, I'm selling my company. I don't know if you know that. 
Uh, I'm going to be 60 in April, and I'm selling my company when I turn 80. Until then, I can't help you. <laughs> I am not selling anytime soon. I love my company. But outside of that, you got right, to have to Well, we're, we're two minutes over. Trudy, okay. what do you want to say, out. man? What do you want to say, Trudy? You close it out. You close take out, us Trudy. out. That's you it. say everything you Can't need to say. Go ahead. Take us out, Trudy. You're it's hey Trudy, it's all you all right, everybody have a great evening and just work hard. I love the industry and I'll be here to answer any questions you have about anything. Uh hit me up on Messenger. You guys have a great night.